Are there mm -hmm. any moments in the film where Beckett has a little bit of UK slang? He gets talked to the audience and then yeah. he's like, don't judge me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chris was telling everyone, however many pets you have, that's how much you're going to cry during this yeah. film. Simone, do you have any pets? <laughs> yes. Yes, I okay. have a dog, a Cocker Spaniel. She's like Lady from Lady and the Trump. Aww. Um, I have about a billion cats and dogs and parakeets and tortoises. <laughs> you know, it's the kind of thing where we probably all do it as, as pet owners, where you're always injecting a voice into what they're yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I think right now my golden retrievers have sophisticated English voices sometimes Scottish depending. <laughs> but uh, it, it's really about the playfulness that comes with that and understanding their inner lives so uh, you kind of been mixing those two genres of like for adults and for kids since Who Framed Roger Rabbit I I'm not a kid as you mm -hmm. might have noticed but I think that animation is really for the whole family there's a song in the movie and it asks the question is it worth it to love when there's so much to lose. And that was a guiding light in the movie. And yeah, who sings that song? Simone sings a duet with Zane. Ooh, yeah. with Zane? What was yeah. that like? I mean, it's an honor. Music's kind of my first love before I went into acting. And I pestered Chris at the beginning of this, like, I can sing, I can sing. Yeah, okay. I, I remember that session very vividly. Chris being like, so there's a song. And Chris is so like, he's so nice, where he's like, it's up to you if you want to do it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, all right, I'll give it a try. But it was nice because I, it took me out of my comfort zone. So give me one word to sum up 10 lives. <laughs> Perfect. I was going to say that. It's a great film. It's not a catastrophe. It's, <laughs> a, great, it's a great tale. Okay, it's a <laughs>